What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be working on the Mustang. Uh, we're going to be doing a dual rear caliper install along with rebuilding the clutch pack inside of the differential. Uh, I'm going to show you guys the parts I bought. They're right behind me. And then from there we're just going to jump straight into working on the Mustang. So with that said, let's check out what parts I bought. Alright, as you guys can see, there's a lot of parts on the table. But let's go through and see what we got. So start off, we got our bracket for our dual rear calipers. I got this bracket from our boy Scotty. I got some dual rear calipers that I bought off some Rock Auto, accompanied with some PowerStop Extreme Z26 brake pads. And then of course we have our clutch packs that we're going to be putting in our differential with some friction modifier. That's all the parts we're going to be putting on the Mustang. I'm going to do this stuff in a second video when I get the Willwood handbrake in the mail. But for now, let's put all this stuff in the car. Mustang up in the air and I got the rear wheels off. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to crack the bottom of the rear differential cover so the fluid can drain out while I'm taking the rear calipers off. All right, moving on to the next step. My eight mil quarter inch drive. I put the car back in gear because I'm about to lightly hit this with a hammer so I can break the bolt loose and I'm gonna bring the bolt out. I'm gonna drop the pin down. Gonna come over to your axle, give it a push. Like I said, before we want to remove the differential completely from the axle, we want to take a backlash measurement so when we reinstall everything and then we check our backlash later when it's reinstalled, we made sure we put all the shims in the right place and the differential is assembled the same way we pulled it out. So what I'm trying to do is I'm just going to rock the ring gear back and forth. So you see as I rock this backwards. So I have about 11 thousandths of backlash. Okay, so we got the diff out. When you pull the diff out, you're going to want to make sure that you keep your main caps on the right sides and make sure you remember which way they came out as well. It's important that they stay on the right side and they're also in the same orientation as the way you found them. Uh, next thing is you're going to find some shims are also going to come out. This is the bearing race, the outer, outer race for it. So, some shims are going to come out as well. You're going to want to make sure you don't lose any of those. And you see we have our two C-clips for our axles, the wrist pin, and then shims and outer bearing race for the other side. 
So there we go, we got the diff out of the car. So now we can start disassembling the differential and replacing the clutch packs inside. All right, so I got the differential rebuilt. I'm gonna, I took pictures as I was rebuilding it, so I'll throw them up as I'm explaining how I did it. I did kind of a hot rod little trick to the diff to make it be locked majority of the time. But pretty much you have your side gears here. These two side gears are where the axles spline into. And from this side gear, this is the reaction plate. That's reaction plate. This is friction plate. What I did is I did side gear, reaction plate, friction plate, reaction plate, friction plate, two reaction plates and one more friction plate. And then on the top of the friction plate, this differential came with a 35,000 shim. What I ended up doing is I switched that 35,000 shim out for a 55,000 shim. And all that means is before this S spring was put in here, you take your fingers and push the gears back and forth and you could feel that there's still some play with the 35,000 shim. So I shimmed, I shimmed the, all these side gears really tight so the diff is gonna stay locked majority of the time. This isn't something you'd really wanna do to a, a one of your Mustangs that you're gonna be street driving a lot because this is basically a welded diff now. Putting it, That's how tight I shimmed these side gears. So when you do that, you have two options because when you're adding shims, it makes the axle sit farther inside of the diff. So when you go to put your pin in, um, your axles will not fit because they're sticking farther into the diff. So what you do, if you can see what one surface looks like, what you do is you grind down your C-clips so you're able to make the axle sit in or pull, you're able to make the axle sit farther away from the pin so you're actually able to put the pin in with your axles in. So let's get the diff in the yeah. <laughs> All uh, right, so let's get the diff in the car. Get a race car, they said. It'll be fun, they said. <laughs> so this is what I did, is I just took the two bearing races and just the diff and set it in there. I pushed it all to the left side and slipped the shims in on the right side. And now I gotta push it all the way and then I put the cap on because I'm done with the right side. Now I gotta get a pry bar and push the diff all the way to the right side so I can slide in the left side shims. Got, just got the diff in the car. Hardest part of the job is over. So now I got my dial indicator here. It was 13 thousandths before I removed the diff three days ago. So hopefully we see 13 again. If not, we have to redo everything we just did. Good deal. So now we can put, uh, now we're gonna put the axles in. Well, now we're gonna install our dual rear caliper bracket. Then we're gonna put the axles in. Slide the C-clips in and... And then we can seal this all up and we're done. All right, let's... I'm just gonna take the C-clip and sneak it through the S-spring.
Okay, I got both the rear calipers installed, so let's go check that out right now. So what I'm going to end up doing is the one on the left is going to be for my handbrake, and then the one on the right is going to be for my stock brakes. See, I'll show you guys the brackets in the back. So we got both the brakes put on, we got the rear axle all assembled and put back together. So that's going to be it for this video. Guys, don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this content. The next video we're going to be doing is plumbing that caliper and running, installing the handbrake and running the lines. I'm also going to be buying a race seat, so we'll be installing the race seat at the same time so I can make sure everything fits my driving position well. So keep an eye out for that video as well. It's going to come out in the next couple of weeks. So with that said, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.